Hey, buddies, Potatomic Whiskey here, and welcome <clears throat> to a little bit of a different kind of live stream. We're going to do things a little bit differently. Can you guys hear me all right? Are we good? Are we good to go? Let's double check our mods as per usual. Better balance game, disable, builder charges, espionage, better. I kind of wish we could combine all these into a, uh, oh, I do. Click UI mods. Secret acts. Am I missing anything? Random map mods, multiplayer. Okay. Got our we got our UI mods in. Now today, where is Ambiorix? We're gonna be doing some test memes. We're gonna see how viable it is. We're gonna try out a few continent starts here. We're gonna just go with completely standard settings, nothing special in terms of this. We're even gonna skip barbarian clans. We're just gonna go completely vanilla because we wanna test this out. Thank you so much. Why not man at legs? You know, that's a great question. And as a bonus meme, right when we finish this stream, I'm going to release a new video series on Canada. So you guys have a lot to look forward to. So we're just, we're just going to do basically standard settings here. Nothing fancy. You just have a few UI mods installed. And we're going to just start trying out. My, my keyboard is satisfyingly loud. Thanks. Hey, Geraint. Good to see you live. It's good to be live, man. It's been a while. Things have been things have been rough. We've been getting renovations done. I say we've been getting reno renovations done. Like we've been doing renovations. You know, we've been uh, pulling up old carpet, getting stuff like that ready. How many hours do you have in Civ Six? I have about two thousand eight hundred hours. I think I could double check for you here. Um, let me just check for you. Yeah, two thousand seven hundred and thirty hours. The premiere is three hours from now. It should only be two hours. Yeah, May the 9th, 9th p.m. That's uh, two hours and five minutes. All right, so we're playing Gaul. Uh, this is not an ideal start, but we're just we're going to be playing up until we get Man at Arms, basically. So to explain what's going on here, why we're doing this, what's going on. Hey, thank you so much, Adrian Flysia. Uh Got my first DD win today. Oh, you know what? I'm on the wrong thing. Let me double check that I have my settings correct. There it is. Okay. Thank you so much. Can't hear game audio. I'm clicking. Can you hear that? Can you hear the game audio? You should be able to. I did fix my audio settings. Track one. Ah. Hang on a second. Wait. Uh, streaming is set to channel one. Recording is two, three, and four. It's just super quiet. Oh, it's intentionally super quiet. Hang on. Uh, just double checking. Can you hear it now? Yep. 
Can you hear it now? Why is why are people saying no? Does Huh. You can only hear the mouse. Huh. Uh let me let me readjust this because you should be able to hear it. Hang on, let me test something. Uh, I'll just go to one of my own videos. Okay. I'm currently playing a video. Oh, it's not showing up in my audio settings. What the fuck? Cable input, virtual audio cable. Oh, hang on. Can you hear it now? Can you hear the unit noises? Okay, okay. I had my I had my settings a little bit messed up. It should be fixed now. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank, I apologize. That took a that took a while. All right. So let's actually talk about this study location. Audio. Listen. Technical issues. Okay, we fixed it. Uh, <laughs> chat is going crazy. <laughs> uh, oh, that feels good. So let's talk about the study location. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we get plus four error score. We found a new continent. Now, let's talk about our goal. Our goal this game is, is, is to take advantage of Gull's abilities. We're not going to play full games. We're just going to try it out to see, can we get a feel for when can we tell we can pull off this man-at-arms push thing? So basically, um, the really, really cool thing about Gaul is the culture equal to 20% of a unit's cost when a non-civilian unit trained, okay? That's pretty cool, so we can get culture from building units. M melee, anti-cavalry, and range units receive plus two combat strength for every adjacent unit. That means any army we build will be naturally stronger by being adjacent to each other. Hello, my name is Morbus, and I've been suffering from Potato's audio setup for a week. Actually, Morbus, can I call you? Hold on. Uh... Can I call you just to test my audio channels? Hey, what's up? Can you just say words? I want to test if it's coming through the right channel. Because I had this. These are words that I am saying. Hello, chat. Oh, it's coming through the wrong thing. I'll need to I'll need to work on that. Hang on. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. I I, I completely redid my Thanks for all the Again? great entertainment and interesting gameplay you help keep civilization fresh. Oh, I think I fixed it. Morbus talk? What if I don't want to talk? Ah, oh, yes. I ha all right. I have them all perfectly set up on three separate channels. All right. Brilliant. Please make sure they're set up properly if you're going to do a recording. <laughs> <laughs> I will. It should be from now on. It should be set up. I'm going to actually write down. I'm going to do like an audio check every time I record now to make sure nothing has changed itself. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay. Will you ever do a humankind tutorial? I think I would love to do a humankind tutorial series. That would be a lot of fun. Blah, who is Morbus? Morbus is the guy who edits my videos. Okay. Uh, we were talking about abilities. So we also have Halstat culture, uh, which gives us plus one culture for, uh, culture bombs from mines. And especially districts don't receive adjacency. But the really, really important thing here is the Oppidum. Now, it's cheaper and available earlier. And when we build it, we get apprenticeship for free. Now, the important thing about building it and getting apprenticeship for free is that's where man-at-arms unlock and man-at-arms cost 
production and iron, two things that Gaul can get in spades because we only have to get to iron working and then we can get apprenticeship. Um, and you'll see here going mining, bronze working, iron working is pretty easy because all we have to do is find iron, settle it and build a mine on it, which will give us culture and science from the iron mine. Then we just have to research iron working, build an oppidum, and then using the iron and the production from the oppidum, we can spam out a couple of man at arms and attack someone really early. So that's kind of the plan here is we're basically going to ignore the majority of the tech tree and go straight for bronze working, which means, um, unlike other sieves, we're probably going to go straight for a couple of gazete so that we can hunt down barb camps. So let's go ahead and just settle in place. I'm not worrying about things too much. I guess we could have optimized, but I like this for a farm triangle later on. So I'll probably put a farm triangle in here. We'll just start pinning. I'd also like to do just general early game planning. So this will eventually be a farm triangle for us. It's not going to matter this game because we won't be playing that long. And unlike in a normal game, we're actually going to start with Gezute here. Because our goal is to... Uh, we'll probably start with like two. How do Man at Arms fare against crossbows? Man at Arms actually fare pretty well against crossbows. Crossbows do 40 range damage, okay? Um, uh, or 40 range strength. And Man at Arms have 45 range strength. So it's like being attacked by a slightly weaker unit. And once you get that first promotion, Tortoise or um, the other one that I, whose name I forget, you'll actually be pretty tanky against crossbowmen. Found a city-state, Johannesburg. Now that's not great because we're not actually building buildings right now but I'll accept it. This looks like more coastline, so I kind of regret scouting this way. We'll, we'll have to hope, go back the way we came. Um, and I'll, I'll probably actually go early builder here to get a couple of mines online and get that gypsum online. Okay, we found a barb. That's good. If it spawns units, that's actually kind of good for me because that gives me something to kill. And, uh, and get bronze working boosted. We found a tribal village. When you find your that is nice. Code of laws, excellent. I think we do go for the early pantheon here. God King, discipline, boom. We grab that, 40 gold. How much for a builder? It's 200 for a builder. So we have a little bit of gold in our bank. We're working very low food tiles, which doesn't feel great. We go straight for bronze working. We choose a civic. I think we go for craftsmanship. Another barb camp has appeared. Awesome. So I might be able to get over there to actually clear that. Here's a tribal village and a barb. He's going to come forward and attack. I'm just going to fortify here in place and let them attack me a little bit more. Although, mm, if a slinger appears, then it's not good for me. But if I'm fortified against two guys, I should be fine. I can always retreat two tiles and then another two tiles to my city if I'm having trouble. Okay, that barb cap was already cleared, which sucks. They fortified. They should kill themselves on my warrior. And now this is where problems appear. So we're going to step back and immediately take a battle cry. And they should come forward again and then we can continue to fight. So we've killed one of the three barbs that we need to kill. I'm going to step up here and continue to bait them back. And I'm also looking for someone who I might kill um, with this gamble. because We're just trying to get an idea. Of, of how this strategy could play out in a game. We found a lot of gold in production city-states. So I think I take the attack here. Because that's a very favorable attack for me. Because I'm uphill and his retaliation will mean I kill. Alright, cool. So he'll probably attack me and then I can step back. Uh, let's disable the builder lens because I don't like the builder lens. You can just fall back and heal. And we'll go for another Gazete. Can I 
Get a different lens, please. Okay, Aztecs are all the way down here. This is going to be a game where the Man at Arms rush doesn't make sense, I reckon. I'm going to let them maybe attack the city a little bit. We now have a high production mine. Very cool. Reroll for neighboring hills. Um, we may do some rerolling and trolling later. But for now, I'm just generally... So there's bronze working boosted, which is huge this early. I may try to forward settle the Aztecs. See settler mode. I might be able to get a city, like walk a settler all the way down here, and then I have a bridge into the Aztec land. I want to get this online, the gypsum. I'm gonna let that guy kill himself. It's fine. I don't think I need a farm. You can start making your way back north. You're fine. Next turn, we can start clearing out some of this stuff. In fact, I may do this. Without crash Boom. A GOG is plugged in. We're about to get our Pantheon. Or we could plug in a GOG. What we're going to do is we're going to go for a fast-ish fast, fast -ish Settler. You just heal for a turn. We're going to go for Military Tradition because we want that flanking and support bonuses. And we want to clear out a Barb Camp to get that. So we're going for like a very, very aggressive game here. We're going to try to forward settle. You attack there, you attack there. Cool. Okay, I'm not happy about that, but I did get the gypsum online. I could sell that to the Aztecs. I only lost one build. Oh, he, and he pillaged. Okay, that's, that's a little bit more annoying because I actually need to get that iron online. Let's get to work on iron working. I needed that last build charge, actually. Getting screwed by the uh, Fog of War there. Does not feel good. He doesn't have a reasonable escape route, though. This is a big delay. I will say that. Repair that, then improve the iron. Got it. Uh, go there. You head this way. Heal. Oh, there's a barb camp here we can kill. Perfect. Don't even need the other one. Let's get you onto the city center to escort next turn. Boom. Improve. You have much that I do not. Go away. All right. So I want to work that iron mine because it's plus one science. Ah, I moved my settler the wrong way because I'm a bit of a, a bit of a ditz. Now I could go for the encampment. But I think here I'd actually like to grow a little bit. Because I can grow in five turns if I do that. That I could work more tiles. This would help support me. Um, a farm on there would support the rest of my build. So slowly get a farm in here. You wait a turn. This, uh, this iron working delay is annoying. You could step up here, do that. You come back this way. Pantheon. Free builder. Changes my plans here with regards to builder. 
and instead I think I go for a slinger I think I clear this step up here we kill with you you step here you come back to heal you head south on your own you clear this perfect military tradition boosted Slowly work on state workforce because we are going to build an oppidum. So we got a little bit delayed. It's normal. Now we have a farm. And this farm should be able to support two extra pops. I don't see any barb stuff down here. Iron mine, 24 turns. We'll start working that iron mine next turn. Civic is fine. Send the builder width to improve the maze. We're never going to have more than four population here at the beginning. Promotions abound. Get there to heal. We're sending them unex unescorted, which feels a bit bad. Loyalty here is pretty terrible. If I could get a single governor, though. We need to save our gold. Probably just ignore these guys now. Start moving these guys down. Like, how fast can we hit these guys with man at arms? That's, like, the real question we're trying to answer. So we blind... Like, this is experimental, right? We're blindly going for a strategy here. And then we're going to analyze it in, 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 in the back. Is this on a slower speed or why does it research so slow? Um, this is normal speed. I'm researching so slow because I have a single city and I went for zero science and I'm, I'm rushing man at arms. Now, would be good to actually get that builder now. Wow, this is the first time I've been able to catch you live on time. I've enjoyed the hundreds of hours of content you've put together that I've watched. Look Whoa. forward to hundreds more. Thank you so much, uh, Kartik Rishi, uh, for the $25 donation. I'm really glad you enjoyed my videos, and I'm glad you reached into your pocket to find me something nice uh, as a result of you liking my videos. I super appreciate that. Now, 10 loyalty per turn is a bit harsh, so we may have to settle this off of fresh water just to survive here. Hello from MJ. Hope you are enjoying the new patch. Hey, thank you so much, Raven X Gaming. Uh, hello from New Jersey, I assume. Hope you're enjoying the new patch. I am enjoying the new patch. Thank you for saying. Uh, a goodie hut still above. Um, getting that goodie hut might be a bit hard, though. Is the problem I'm, I'm identifying, uh, because the man at arms are coming very, very soon. And so I need to be in position in this city with as much gold as possible. I should have actually had this builder up here to chop out the oppidum. Yeah, I should have. So that's a, that's a mistake I've identified is that like carefully selecting where things go and what you do with them is actually really, really important. Unless I go for oppidum in here, but I don't think that would be optimal. So I may sacrifice this slinger to get that. Boom, boom, boom. So it's turn 47. I would normally have like three or four cities here. We got a free builder. Hmm, that changes things. I can now chop in here. So this slinger should be able to escape along rough terrain. Get there to heal. Go, go, go. 
potatoes. Escape along rough terrain. Don't see you live too often. Nice to be part of it for a change. <laughs> Don't see you live too often. What do you see me dead all the time? What the hell? No, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Michael Schneider. Yeah, I'm, I'm just streaming. I, I, I thought I would do like a little test stream. I was going to record videos, but I decided, you know, I'm going to do a test stream uh, up until I release my newest video. And, uh, you know, people who have nothing to do can uh, come check things out. So it looks like we have a pretty good run out here. And this is like a really suboptimal location. Do I chop here to get this settler out? I'd get more iron. I only have iron for one man at arms right now. Chop Settler. One charge on the iron. Yeah, I like it. Okay, this slinger got trapped. This spearman may not attack. It's far enough away that he might just decide to retreat. What is that off-water city? I settled it like this for loyalty because it's only here so I can upgrade Mad at Arms. Everything has its limit. Alright, boom. So we, we could theoretically um, get Swordsman right now, which is like super early. Turn 50 Swordsman. Quite early. We would be able to roll over him, but I want to try the Mad at Arms thing. So, Oppidum. There's a plus four Oppidum right there. Jason Quarries. Now, do you get bonuses from mines? You don't get bonuses from mines, but you get quarries and strategics. So I might put you on that tile. <gasps> he survived. Now, this is awkward. We'll sacrifice that chop. We'll get it in five turns. And then I think the follow-up is like... Grab Animal Husbandry. I feel like I should fit getting Animal Husbandry into this build so I can get better Oppidums for, with extra strategics revealed. Hmm, maybe. We'll see what we can do. So now we can switch off state workforce. Your videos are why I love Civilization VI. I would say build the Venetian arsenal, but this stream would be too short. Ah, uh, never say never, dude. All right, live for your dreams. Golden Age. I think we go for free inquiry here because we we do have some Eurekas on the way. Okay, loyalty is a problem. We have no way to deal with that loyalty until we finish this district. Seven turns. Chop jungle, force growth. Yeah, chop jungle, force growth. Buys me turns. Force growth, population two, gives the city slightly more loyalty. Settle here. Do you think the devs forgot that Gaul get free apprenticeship? I don't. I don't think so. I think this was like an intentional change, and something they thought the players would have a lot of fun doing, because it gives the Gauls an option for early game aggression. Oppidum was no accident. If State workforce no is boosted, and we can now get man at arms. Settle this city, Thanks yes. I can Click. consistently win any win con on immortal. After I beat the game with the last four CIVS, I haven't done so yet. Time for deity. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Tony Perry, for your five dollar donation. After I beat the game, after I beat the game, time for deity. Uh, good luck, dude. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, getting updates on when you advance to deity. 
We could even chop that out. Now we have the production, if we wanted to, to build 10 turn man at arms. Um, but we can get this gold. Now we could do something sneaky here, all right? Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash we could set all right. He has gypsum. Hey, potato love, being able to catch one of your streams. Do you plan to record any more humankind content anytime soon? Um, yes. I want 40 gold from you. Hey man, thanks for the friendship. Questions. One, have you ever played League of Legends? Yes, I've so played quite a bit of League. Two, do you like Stellaris? 1,000 hours CIV player, environmental chemist in Massachusetts. Uh, hey man, question. Have you played League of Legends? I played a lot of heroes in League of Legends. I used to play Nasus before Nasus was OP. I used to play Rumble before Rumble was OP. I used to play Rengar before Rengar was OP. I'm currently playing a Canada Winter Wonderland game. I am settling so many. Tundra cities, it's insane. Nice one, Nick. Well with you today. I've got a I've got a Canada game releasing in like an hour and, and forty minutes. Um, but yeah, I used to, I used to play all of the OP champions. Um, I used to be really really good at figuring out which champion was like super overpowered, and then I would play them to bits and get like free low. Um, and then I would post my builds on like the League of Legends subreddit, and then people would flame me. And then a month later, like all the pros are like spamming those heroes, and I was just like, yeah, I was right. So like you can thank me for getting Nasus nerfed. You can thank me for getting Rumble nerfed. You can thank me for getting Rengar nerfed back when Rengar could full heal using his W. Oh god, I got so much ELO out of that. Um, hey Potato, currently playing kind of the game. Yep, me too. Uh, da, 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 da. I think this is a reasonable trade. Since latest patches out, will you plan to redo extend N W wonders and UNQ units tier lists? Yep, yep. We're gonna be doing a ton, a ton of tier lists um, going forward. Cheers to you in having fun with the new buffs, especially Canada, my home country, long over. Do you keep up the good work. So now we go for settlers to follow up this strategy. No, monuments. We go for monuments. We go for monuments so we can get our government political philosophy. Yes. Okay. So we're, we're figuring out this strategy. And I think we appoint Victor because he gives loyalty. I pop him in here. That secures the city's loyalty. Awesome. So we're right on the edge. I need 220 gold. That's what I need. I need 220 gold so I can upgrade two of these guys together and then begin the push. So we're like right on the cusp of, of where we need to be. So how do I get gold out of this guy? Ah, if I improve the jade and then sell it to Aztecs. Okay, so that's what I should have done there. Right, we're, we're identifying ways and means to use the AI's propensities against them. So I should have improved this. Next turn, I can do the double upgrade and start marching. Do I have to worry about any city-states? I have to worry about Cahokia. But that's fine. I should be able to like just use two man at arms to kill this guy. So now we have 420 gold per turn. Now the man at arms is expensive, all right? It's three gold per turn. So this is gonna wipe out my economy, but I'll be able to plug in conscription uh, next turn. That left click was not meant to be what was happening there, okay? So man at arms, boom. Man at arms, okay? It's turn 59 and we have two man at arms ready to barge down Aztecs. This seems pretty okay as a as an in, innate rush thing use the builder to scout we can start crossing the river i wish i had been up these two because this will actually delay my attack by one turn we'll use this guy to defend against Hokia. you improve that then i talk to the aztecs and say hey you want my jade give me all your money so he'll give me around 115 gold i'd say a little bit more Hundred and twenty-five gold done. So that's fantastic. This gives me a gold buffer, and now I can pull out discipline, plug in conscription, take out God King because I have my pantheon, plug in urban planning, boom, choose a civic, early empire political okay, philosophy. Uh, we got our monument in our capital. Now we start spamming settlers to follow up this. In deity since CIV five, I have now adopted the ways of the chop and am smashing. Awesome, dude. The deity win as Tundra Babylon. 
I'm glad to hear that chopping has helped you. Trade him a bunch of gold, return for upgrade gold, and kill him to cancel the debt. I, I don't want to do anything too exploity. I'm trying to do stuff, like things that could be reasonably be expected in a game. So I need a little bit more info. So he's got a pretty easy city for me to take there. I mean, my cities will defend themselves, actually. They have 40 combat strength. I don't need to leave a unit to defend them. That's really sick, dude. I didn't even think of that. You go here. You go here. We can attack the city with two people next turn. Completely crush that city. You're here as a backup. Grab masonry. You're so... The second I take this city... Um, city needs a granary. So he's even attacking my weaker unit. Look back over the path. I think this dude's just dead. Garrison commander would be helpful. Or do I follow this up with Pingala in the capital? I think I do Pingala in the capital. I bring you back to defend. Farm on this. Gives me a good gold tile. City's about to collapse. We take this. Signe. We find Signe. Oh, that's amazing too, actually. Right, two turns. Reassign. Sempoala. I just need the gold. He has an encampment there, and the city has 35 combat strength, which means he has a swordsman or something. What is this non-freshwater city from the Aztecs, dude? Managed to steal a builder. Cattle tile. Okay, he pillaged that, that's fine. You can have that. When wasteful. There's a catapult in here, okay. It's hard because this guy has Aztec warriors, which are like god warriors so it's like the it, it's got to be so that's something i've learned is it's got to be a sieve that doesn't have a strong early game unique unit so that's definitely a lesson here um because these things can actually hold me off You see what I mean? Maybe I should have been building units to follow this up? I don't know. Alright, but this, this is a learning. We're, we're doing research. You stand inside this district because it gives you defense. Writing politics is the art of oligarchy. Great general points. Urban planning. Limitanii. And that city flipped independent, but I'm kind of okay with that. You should be able to survive both of those attacks to pillage and begin attacking the capital. This 
just kind of ra I'm just I'm just seeing how effective it is and we're learning that's one of the reasons you got an AOE I love the thumbnail thanks so much skipper why well, haven't used to build it a harvest of rice uh and prevent the revolt uh, the city was at like negative 18 loyalty there was no real way to prevent the um the revolt but the important thing is I took the city away from him Now I could attack here, but that would leave you vulnerable. So we're not going to do that. And the cool thing is... Uh, Man at Arms rebel spawned here. Which is kind of not cool, actually. <laughs> if I think about it a little bit. Uh, it's kind of not cool. That's a one... So there is a big... De so there's a lot of downsides going on here. Garrison. Like it, uh, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit too slow. I think, I think it could work, right? I think it could work, but I think this was too quickly executed. Barbarian camps will spawn men at arms now as well. Yeah, well, that's also really, really fun. All right, I'm just kind of, kind of focused on. Is this enough units to actually take a deity AI on? Potatoes. I have a pillage here next turn. Cross river, retreat. Hey potato, you haven't streamed with armchair admirals in a while. Will you join them to try? Out new CIV update. Um, I don't know. Were they streaming Civ this uh, this Monday? Um, usually I just usually I just stream with them if they uh, if they need room. Is a series only been playing for a month. Not comfortable with anything over Prince. Still learning what lands provide what. Thanks so much, Eternal Blue, for the ten dollar donation. One hundred and seventy five turn culture victory with Thailand. Nice one. That's pretty impressive. Uh, okay. If I break his capital, I think I just auto win. Let's see. I think I can do it this turn or next. Oh my god. Alright, let's. A little bit of craziness going on here. I kind of don't want to peace. He's got so many catapults. So I could take this next turn no matter what I think. Even if I lose that guy. The question is, is this is this worth doing? Like, I'm 74 turns into a game. I should have seven, like I should have six to seven cities right now in a standard game. And I'm being invaded by barbs. Like, so maybe this isn't the way to do this maybe we might want to delay it maybe there's certain situations and modifications we need to make to this strategy but that's what we're trying to do we're trying to tease out when is this when is this something you actually want to do like that's the thing because we have his capital now we've basically killed another player and we have like heavily promoted Man at arms. So could and we have a sick ass city right now. Armchair Admiral game to troll by rushing it so the barbs start spitting out men at arms. That would actually be fucking hilarious. Um, this city should actually flip to me now. It should be me generating more pressure. I wish I'd kept that Gazette online. I think you need like three. So we lost that city, which sucks. I don't like that this dude is coming at me with this energy right now. But I, I, I think I think there's a bones of an idea here. You know, like this could work. It didn't work, but it could. 
May the forces of May the first of evil. Got 11 turns on that. That's plenty of time. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking the same sort of ideas. I'm thinking the same sort of ideas. Um, that maybe there needs to be like an encampment and a commercial hub involved in this build somewhere. Um, but I can already start battering down this city. Which feels pretty amazed balls. So yeah, I, th I think I think, but I think this as a first, like te test the concept. I think the idea has merit. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. On my tries, it works if you spawn close. Works. Yeah, I think I think so. So if I were to take notes from this, right, why didn't this go well? Um, the first thing is we were up against the Aztec. Now the Aztec have a unique ancient era melee unit that is strong enough with the DD bonuses. Cause remember the DD gets a plus four combat strength bonus on higher difficulties. So their, um, their warriors were actually 32 combat strength when normally they should be 24. That's what we should be up against. So those these we were up against significantly stronger units than we could expect in maybe a more standard version of this strategy. So that's one portion of it. The second portion is the sheer distance that we spawned between our empire and our opponent. That's definitely a factor in the success of this is how close are you to the person you're, you're attempting to attack. Um, so we're, we'll we'll make modifications as we explore this, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna play. Okay, so this is where I would call this. This is a failure. Okay, the AI now has walls. I can't break those walls, and and that's it. So this failed, but it's okay. It was useful because we learned a lot, and we're gonna try it again. We'll just go in with the exact same game settings and hit restart. So I think what went wrong is I think you should try to get an encampment. From the first stirrings of life beneath water. Hey, potato, nice meme. I don't follow streamers because I'm too fickly. The Stone Age. But have a nice day. Thank you so much. And taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now uh, you're the second person I've seen say amaze balls. The other was Korean. Neat. From this early cradle of civilization, on toward. Okay. So let's analyze our starting location. We're near a desert. Desert has a good chance of spawning iron. The downside is it has low food. We have good, so this is actually a much better. Is the Man of Arms Rush possible for Babylon 2? Yes and no. So the problem Babylon has is they need to get bronze working. They, they need to get bronze working. They need to get iron. Um, they could theoretically have Man of Arms unlocked within the first 15 turns of the game, but they can't actually build them without iron. So they would need iron. That's the thing. I think one to two more warriors would work well. I, I agree. Um, I think so. There was a combination of things that went wrong there. The first one was um, we didn't have good land. So that was that sucked. Uh, the second thing was our enemy, our enemy spawned really far away from us. And the third thing was, uh, oh, shoot, what was it? I forget what the third thing was, but but a few things went wrong there. But now we're now we're getting a vibe of okay. So how do we actually do this strategy? And I think one of the modifications I'm going to make is settling in place here. Is fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. This land is pretty good. So I think one of the modifications I'm going to try making here is I'll actually go animal husbandry first. Or maybe animal husbandry second, because that will reveal horses, and that will give me better tiles to work. Am I actually building any mines early? I'm not actually building any mines early, so I'm gonna go animal husbandry first. I'm gonna open with a scout, so I can get 
more information earlier into the game so I can make decisions about whether or not I'm actually going to do the strategy. There is a plus five campus there. It's pretty sick. Now, one cute trick we can do is we know we're to the north of this map. And we know, so it's more likely there's going to be people to our south. There's a city-state here. It is Leventa. We were the first to meet Leventa. It's a really good science game here, potentially. An amazing science game. So someone has found Anshan. So there's someone in this area of the map, which is where I'm going to send my scout. Showing support through Super Chat. Thank you so much, Radu Dinut. Radu is like a Romanian or Moldovan name, I think. All right, two turns. I think we sink two turns into a Gazete. No, we sink two turns into a Builder. Okay, so here's another example of a sieve that we absolutely do not want to do this strategy against. Um, Rough Rider Teddy. I believe um, rough, rough Rider Teddy gets a plus five combat strength on his home continent. So here's another example of a sieve that is really, really bad for us to do this strategy against. And in fact, if I was doing this like test game, I would probably automatically reroll here. And in fact, I think I will. We just, we spawned near a sieve who you can't attack early. So reroll. Why don't you settle on the geothermal? It's actually a good question. I don't know why I didn't. It would have been better. Yeah, they may as well be eagle warriors, From exactly. Except it applies to his entire to army. To the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, <sighs> you have come far. Now begins your greatest... Yeah, he gets... He, he, Teddy Roosevelt, on deity difficulty, gets a plus nine combat strength boost, boost for his entire army. It's ridiculous. You inspired me to finally beat deity. Keep up the good work. Love Thanks so much, voice. Brandon. Thanks so much, Brandon, for the $5 donation. Glad you finally beat deity. Um, this is actually kind of an interesting starting location. So let's have a little bit of a, a bit of a stink here. Um, all right. So we need to think about how do we get good tiles early? Yeah, if I spawn next to the Congo, it's like... Um, how do we get good tiles early? So let, let's let's kind of make an argument here. If I settle in place, I have access to a pretty okay set of tiles, right? Lots of food, lots of gold. Not bad. Not a lot of production. If I move one tile southwest, I pick up three gold per turn and cotton. And I have access to two two food, two production tiles and a two food, one production, two gold tile, which I think is a significant improvement if I move down here. I also need to think, think about the consequences potentially on my di my, my oppidum. Because for example, if horses spawn here and iron spawn here, and remember naked hills have a high chance, naked grassland hills have a high chance of spawning iron. Same with down here. Um, I could get two iron right here. And then I would have to give up this tile for my oppidum. Whereas if a horse spawned here and an iron spawned here, my oppidum could go right here. So I think moving here is the rider, is, is the better short term move. But I think it does make our district choices for our oppidum a little bit worse. Chris Gehert, can I kiss you IRL? I mean, no. Um, please don't. Thank you. You know there's a pandemic on right now, dude. You're, you're just like, hey, can I spread my germs to you? For a stronger early start. That's kind of like the bias I have too. All right, barb camp here. We do want to clear a barb camp. We do like part of our early game strategy is finding barb camps and hunting them down. I saw a city state attack there. So that's a Bandar Brunei. We were the first to meet them. That's plus one gold. That's actually huge for our strategy because we do need gold to upgrade our dudes. And actually this sort of a start with lots of gold is actually ideal as well because we can upgrade rather than having to produce our units. Foreign trade, less good, but we do get an error score out of it. So we might be able to secure a normal age. 
Barb Camp and we found Hattusa. We were not the first to find Hattusa. So where are we on the map? Scroll, we're somewhere in the middle of the map, which means there could be people in any direction. So I'm just going to scout laterally until I find the coastline and then I'll scout up because I have a guy heading south. Um, do I have good tiles to improve with mines? I actually have a really good copper tile to improve with a mine. So if I switch over to mining here, start on a builder, that seems to fit nicely for me. Is that a lake? It's a lake. There's the coastline. I wait a turn to see if they attack. I attack and pray. All right, we rolled high on our attack, boys. We stole the camp. That's good. That's one barb killed. We have an envoy. I think I send that to Hattusa because it opens up technology options for us. So we are actually near the top of the continent. Oh, wow. We're right at, right at the best. top. There may be more land to the north because based on the barb coming out of the fog of war, there might be some islands up here. Boom. Man, this is... Okay, this is... This is what we call... A juicy boy, okay? This guy has terrible production. <laughs> he goes for holy sites and commercial hubs early. And he doesn't have any early game combat units. This is what we call a juicy boy. So we're ready. Uh, do, do you play Age of Empires 2? Yeah. Uh, I had to travel 90, mo 90 miles from home to get my vaccination. That was the closest I could find. I got the, I got the one shot. I, I, I really, I, like, at this point, dude, just inject the fucking vaccine directly into my eyeballs. I just, I, just give it to me. I just want to, I just want to be able to leave my house <laughs> and do things. All right, so we're going to go God King and Discipline. So I want scouting information with this gazete. We also want to be forward settling in this direction in a sensible way. Uh, do you reckon Ireland will get, a, get, up, get uh, end up getting their doses from the UK? Ireland Ireland has been getting some from like the EU program. Do you plan on play through with the new Canada or Khmer? Uh, yeah, lethal. After we finish this live stream, I'm going to be releasing a video uh, on Canada. And uh, that's going to be going live in exactly one hour and ten minutes. And then I think my next series after Canada will be either Khmer or um, or another Civ. And I'm also working on tier list and stuff like that. Trade Cotton. Oh, good call. Good call. Good call. Three gold per turn is a little bit weak. But I'll take it because it's three gold per turn. That's 90 gold over 30 turns. And I probably won't be attacking them for a while. So we'll grab Animal Husbandry. Yeah, juicy boys. Thanks so much, Zach Brumba. That's what we call a juicy target right there, dude. Automatic builder lens, disable. I don't like it very much. Put a mine here, culture bombs. Head to bronze working. Hold on to one builder charge for bronze work. Hold on to two builder charges for bronze working, really. Status settler now on the way to bronze working. Although, that said... Mm. Mm. Yeah, status settler now on the way to bronze working. I am fond of thee. Tribal village. Boom. Strong tile. Very happy. Are you going to go for religion? I don't don't think I'm going to go for religion. If I get a religion, it's going to be because I conquer someone with holy sites. A barb camp just appeared here. The good news is my gaze day is in the area. I got a free builder. Um, which actually opens up options here for me. To get three tiles online pretty quick and boost craftsmanship and then go for a fast agog. 
Get that settler out sooner. I am fond of pigs. Click, click. Craftsmanship boosted. Awesome. There's another city state here. I'm not going to bother meeting them. I need to get up here to clear this. And then craftsmanship finishing syncs up with my settler. I can plug in the unit construction card, get a couple of gazete. I'm going to hold on to these build charges. Three. Last update, my fave part is not any of the balance tweaks, not the trebs. It's the fact that on PS4 it no longer crashes every four turns. Nice dude, glad they fixed that out. I've been having some some occasional crashes actually. They're quite rare, but it doesn't stop it being annoying. So we're still holding on to Gog, God King, but we can plug in a Gog so we can get units out a little bit quicker. You're going to fortify there. I don't think I need to go for military. I, honestly, I only need military tradition when I actually go to war. So I can start working on foreign trade, for example. I think my goal is to get an encampment early. Now, in terms of settling, I would like to get two settlers. One really close to Mansa Musa and one relatively close. Um, let's have a look for now. We're going to use the resource lens from one of the mods I use. We're going to turn off everything except for strategics. And the only copies of horses are over here, so we're not settling for strategics. I think the only other thing I would care about then, aside from strategics, are things that use quarries. And I don't see any quarries here, which really sucks. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think I settle here on this floodplain because it has good sheep. Ideally, oh man, is this a plains hill? Maybe I settle the Plains Hill, forward settle here, immediately upgrade, attack. Okay, I like that plan. That plan has merits to me. Hold on to the builder for bronze working. You're fortified. We can now work on some Gezete. Efficiently, ideally. Oh, there's stone. Oh, right, there's stone. Sorry. I forgot. Uh, stone. So the stone here. Um, just trying to think of in terms of my oppidum. Does that change my plan, that stone? It actually does because it's a guaranteed plus two oppidum right there. So if I settle here, I have an easy time getting that one. Yes. Okay. Need to think about lots of stuff. Moderate flood. It's kind of worse than settling here, but it's fine because I have that sheep tile. That sheep tile is pretty powerful. Let's turn 26. We're very nice. We have our first level up. That first level up is actually quite important. So we've gently forward settled uh, Mali, very gently. We want the monument ASAP because we want to get political philosophy ASAP. I want to work that sheep tile. And I'll, I'll probably want the monument in my capital at some point. One more kill. Boom. Bronze, Bronze working finished. Where does encampment go? Change tile you're working in the capital? Ah, good call, thanks. Oh, I, had it, I had it locked in, I shouldn't have. Iron, oh, wow. So this is, so this is another way you can get screwed. Is um, on iron. We just, we didn't get any iron within settleable rate, like within purchasable range of our capital. We would have to have settled forward more 
And that, I think, slows us down so much. It's kind of insane. We're still going to attempt it, but I think the strategy is now to go settler. Forward settle here, put a governor in this city. Yes. I think that changes my plans here. Because I'm not, I'm not under pressure now to get political philosophy quickly. And I'd much rather just get a builder in here so I can start maybe chopping and placing mines and stuff. Close to getting our Pantheon. Purchase a settler? Oh, Jesus, I have so much gold. Oh, I, I could actually totally do that. You're a genius, dude. Promote that man. I could purchase a settler in like three turns. We're fine. Oh my god, we're actually totally fine. Let's get that builder moving, which means monument is still number one priority. That's the positive aspect. This is back up. Play safe. Plug in discipline. No. I think I get two more gaze today. Go for early empire. I can buy a settler next turn. Tribal village, cool. I think going for the early scout actually does make a big difference here. Because we've we've actually gotten so much value from that scout. City should force grow next turn. Yoink. Free scout. I can use that to fight the barbs a bit. Escort that settler. Step out, attack. Boom, boom, kill, step, wait, scout, scout, step back, steal that next turn, boom, 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 only get shot once. Uh, okay. City patron got us 25% production towards city districts and cities around the district. <sighs> Got a craftsman is neat. Oh, early empire off. Good call. Sorry. Whoops. Switch to state workforce. You're right. You can attack and then heal next turn. Ah, oh, Jesus. That's annoying. Why would he do that? Just don't stand there. Okay, thank you. Boom, promote, fortify, step, step. 
City patron to get campuses out immediately. Ah, the difference is very slight. Should be able to kill him next turn. Okay, plan is kind of coming together neatly. It's not the neatest, cleanest play. Is he really gonna fucking pillage me again? It was luxury's like. I might go up at him in like one of my secondary cities. Fucking pillaging me again, dude. Then, this might be a dumb idea. Do I just use scouts as combat strength bonuses? They're literally free. They'll tank ranged hits for me, and they give all of my man at arms plus two combat strength if they stand beside them. This might actually be. The Giga Head play, dude. Am I a genius or am I dumb? God King off, good call. Urban planning. Um, I think we just take Victor again for loyalty. Because he's the best, he's the best offensive loyalty car, uh, governor. I mean, yeah, you'll pay me <laughs> for open borders. Thanks, bro. Fuck, what is this? What is this pillaging shit? Get back up here to start repairing. All right, so we go campus in the cap encampment in the capital. Um, we throw it here. We rush a great general. Wait, actually, they're medieval, classical medieval. Yeah, we rush a great general, and then in a secondary city, we go for oppidum. So it's like a slightly slower version of the play, I feel like. But it also feels just way nicer the way we're doing it. Because I have more cities. I have more infrastructure. Let's not heal on the river. Let's avoid that. You're going here to repair. Am I still working that broken tile? No, okay, that's good. Promote the scout. I mean, I guess. I usually don't bother. Bobbert! Hey, Bobbert. So he's over here. God. I don't know how I'm going to get to him. But Mali is a way better target because he's a big, juicy boy. Repair. 10 turns. Sixty gold. Start the oppidum. I don't need scouts right now. What I need is a builder over to Bibrex. And then I think we also, we go for battering ram to support. Yes, queen. It's all working. I assume there's a way to get over here. Um, I'm going to bring my scout on. They've got so much land here. Trader for a road is a good shout. That's true. Could I trade with Walata from here? Maybe. Do I spend the money on a trader? 
Um, calc. Let's just do quick, quick mental math. Um, 185 divided by three. Probably get three golds, and it takes 61 turns for the payoff. It would take a while to pay off if I were to buy this. Plus four Oppidum and Novidum. Where? Oh my. Wait, I thought this didn't get bonus adjacency from mines. Am I dumb? Quarry, strategic resource, government plaza. So why then does this say plus one production from mines? Is that just a UI bug? What? Oh, that's right. Derp. God, I'm an idiot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I was like, hang on a minute. Thank you so much for reminding me. <laughs> hey, by the way, did you know I've been streaming for an hour and in an... Excuse me. New target? Question mark? Um, and in an hour, we're going to be releasing a Canada video, right? And uh, you know what? I recommend. I personally recommend you become a member of the channel. Right below the video, there's a button that says join. Okay, you click that button. Boom, you're a new member. You can, you can pay $2 a month to get special... Special tactics, special access. Well, you, you just get a badge in chat, really. Love your videos. I can now play deity without getting destroyed. How do I become a true spuddy? Uh, Kevin Lisenby, how can I become a true spuddy? You just go below, beneath the video. You click that join button. You pay me $2 a month and you're a true spuddy. That's what it is. Uh, why was it plus five? It's plus five cause uh, Gaul get plus one adjacency from two mines on all of their districts. I just forgot. I'm kind of focused on testing out the strategy, so I'm forgetting things. And pe people are being really helpful in, in the chat, reminding me of things like switching off this. Plus two combat strength is only for ranged and anti-cav, not melee. Melee? Hang on a second. Let me, let me just make sure you can see this. Just... Two seconds. Alright. Oh wait, hang on. Melee, comma, anti cavalry, comma, and range units, Oxford comma, receive plus two combat strength for every adjacent unit, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen. That's that's listen, you just got to accept, okay? When you get I've decided whenever people say dumb things, I'm going to be a bit sassy about it, okay? It's part of the fun. Now sometimes I'm going to be wrong and I'm going to be sassy at the wrong moment, but still it's fun for everyone, okay? Everyone in chat got to laugh at you. Can you draw a red circle around it too? Uh, uh, well, I don't have like a live thing that I can do that with. Ha what the fuck is this city? Dude! Alright, never mind. Mansa Musa. Friends for life, dude. Just give friendship. No? Okay. Dude, don't. Is he. Le is he gonna war deck me? Bro, I don't, don't just give me grievances that I can use against you. What's wrong with you? Get in that city. You need to defend that tile. Get in here. Go, go. Oh, Lord, he coming for me. Um, Monumentality fits here, actually. Gets me a couple of era score. State workforce. Very cool. Warlord's Throne, perhaps. D bro! This is not a fucking vibe.
Encampment training. Apprenticeship soon. Oppidum in six. Ooh. Man, this is a tough... Tough choice. Either I go for the... I think I think I chop the Oppidum here. Immediately upgrade the Man at Arms next turn. Yeah. And then we can get a battering ram. I'm so happy I got lucky to catch you streaming today. Smile. Hey, thanks, dude. Pingala? Pingala feels like the correct follow-up to have a little bit of extra tech and stuff. Dude. Boom, op him. Now you fucked up! <laughs> now you fucked up! <laughs> it's per it works! It actually works, guys. It's actually perfect. It can't be stopped. Um So I just get a battering ram so that I'm ready for any potential walls down the line. I have my encampment on the way. The second I have my great general, I fucking drop my new government plaza diff track. And, uh, you know, shabam shaboozy. Dude, what are you doing here? What do you get out of this war? Look at, look at this, right? Remember? There's a unit here. Bam. There's no unit here anymore. There is no unit here. You. Um, would you like to buy my cotton? 14 gold per turn. Thanks. Mutual trade agreement. You want to join my war? No. Okay. So gold is a big concern here. We're pumping out a bit of extra gold with the encampment training. 1.9 per turn. Did you ever play the Call to Power CIV games? If so, how did you like them? I don't think I ever played the Call to Power Civ games. Dude, this is actually just demolishment. I can kill a unit every turn with this man at arms. Bro, that's my oppidum. Get potatoes. Get off it. Keep your wars distance. I really appreciate. <laughs> Clark Charles, I really appreciate that you spelled Civ a Civ killer. Also, we got some new members, all right? We got Siam, Siam, Siamim Karim, all right? Thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. And then someone else whose name disappeared off the list. God damn it, I have to go look now. Who is this? Uh, Tessa T. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. I love you. You're the best. Also, I have... Oh, that's true, actually. Now I can be friendly with him because I've got grievance. This is... This is just a gimme. So this strategy absolutely can work. It's just a little bit niche and hard to pull off. A little bit worried about this. So again, I think we just spam scouts for adjacency bonuses on these units. Supporting you is not a tough choice at all. I'll keep up the great content. Thank you so much, Andrea. Uh, okay, great general. I think we have to do another encampment training because we want to get Sun Tzu nice and early. Make our man-at-arms OP. Plus the extra gold is nice. Um, catapult could be a meme. Is the art of Political philosophy, we plug in oligarchy now. Boom, great general points. Thank you. Hey, Kyle Gillingwater, new member of the channel. Thank you so much, Kyle. Kyle! Uh, wouldn't instant gold be better than GPT as are in war? You could upgrade faster. Um, I'm, I'm playing for the long term. Absolutely, instant gold would have been better, but I'm trying to play for the long game. Potatoes. 
Uh, okay, urban planning, absolutely. Conscription to save a bit of gold. If you think of it, could you please name a city Charleston? Uh, sure, Bibrex. Charleston. We're, we're probably going to be doing a few restarts, so don't worry. Like, if that doesn't remain in place forever, major victory, major victory. I need, I need to. Oh fuck! I left clicked. Dude, he's he's coming. He's coming for me. He's sending a unit to the back lines. I'm being infiltrated. He sends a special forces warrior to the back line. Plus, I don't even have the iron to upgrade, so part of my strategic plans involve defending this iron mine. And I'm not even ready. I'm not even ready to go on the offensive. I'm I'm on the defensive right here. Once I get my great general, boom, we can go on the offensive. I can start working on my government plaza. Dude. I thought claim. Kill. Scout. Cool. Um, so, you move there, you move there. Fortify. Heal. Scouts are for adjacency on my actual fighting units. Because they get that King of the Eberonis trait. Potatoes. Maybe Oppidum now? I have... I have two scouts to support my army, plus a third on the way. I'm not at war with Bandar Brunei. Alright, great. This guy has a promotion now. Perfect. Boom. Second mine in this city, which is great. This city's up to fantastic levels of production. Battle cry, heal, scouts providing adjacency. Alexander V, thank you so much for the 29 rubles. Bit out of the blue. Did you but did you watch Invincible? I haven't watched Invincible. I've heard people kind of vaguely mention it in passing, but I haven't like sat down and thought about whether or not I want to watch it. Uh no. <laughs> You're not having my iron? Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Who who has who who has um Mansa Moose has got a bit of iron, so we are a little bit on the clock. But I think I take commando here. No, I think if you just take tortoise, this unit becomes invincible basically against early game aggression. Like the faster unit is neat. Battering ram almost done. Great general almost done. Um, you head to Charleston. Provide adjacency, heal, you wait. So look at this city, dude. It's so juicy. Oh my god. All right, we can get another man at arms. Who has the most experience? This guy has the most experience. So we're going to step forward now. Now, now we can begin the offensive because we are... Um, Four turns from getting our great general. So let's pop down our government plaza. As much as... Man, this is a great farm triangle later. Maybe I just... I just throw it here. Four turns. Government plaza. Wallard's throne. Boom. Good follow-up. Just, dude, go away. Support scouts, touching the man-at-arms at all time. Imagine imagine being recruited into the army in 1680 BC and some dude is like, listen, you don't need to fight. All you got to do is hold hands with that guy in armor, okay? Make sure you stay near him. You exist to buff him. <laughs> Damn, he's standing on my off at him. Dude, go away. Let's get ancient walls in here. Potatoes. Trader? Uh, Trader would be good. Please rename a city to Gauling. Isn't that a cleric? Basically, I'm using my scouts as clerics. So he has swordsmen, but they do not... Look at this. Look, look at... You do nothing. And actually combined with Gezete, they're pretty good combat units in of themselves.
battering ram on the way, we harvest here for food, the city can now place its second district if I wanted to follow up with more districts. I probably don't. I need to get like builders in here to actually get the city going. What the f Okay, just stay there. Cross river, cross river. Pillage. Now, I'm pillaging this because I'll be able to repair it. And that 99 gold is actually nice. Um, I'm going to send two scouts back to help this guy. We have a battering ram if we need it. Well, Ada will fall in like two attacks. This guy can promote. He'll, you'll hit the city. You jump up here. You'll pillage that. All right. Boom. Potatoes. People who cannot find time. I need to get this guy off this tile. Germany love your content. Could you rename a city a woo? Yep. Woo woo. There you go, bud. Um, we got our government's plaza. Warlord Throne. Boom. On the way. You. Science now. This science will help us catch back up into the game. It's only four science per turn, but that's pretty significant considering we're going up against someone with 66. You? Promote. You step up here. We, need, we, we still need to get these pillages off. This is my battering ram. You're on the way. I might be able to clear him off next turn. Finish that oppidum. Defensive tactics. Recruit. Teleport, great general. I'm just kind of playing quickly here. I'm afraid you missed my super chat. Oh no, I'm sorry, Jess. <coughs> Please rename a city Galling. Oh. There you are. Sorry about that, Jess. Um, let me double check that I didn't miss anyone else. Greetings, Germany. Uh, Nuclear121 Muffin, thank you for the 5 euro. Sorry about that, Jess. I really apologize. Sometimes I'm like just miles away. Now, pillage, 108 gold. Absolutely. Do we pillage there? So I think we kill. Step forward. Step forward. We can finish the Oppidum that turn, right? No, dude. You're way too far ahead of me. I need to kill you. I'm sorry. Boom. Keep city, resettle Victor. Walata. Fortify. You can actually get that kill. And then we immediately purchase a builder in here to repair that mine using all the gold we pillaged. You'll likely die, but you might be able to get that Oppidum finished. Monument for loyalty. Scout for a garrison. Need to deal with him. You're going to be my next man at arms, so I want to keep you healthy because I'm not too far away from that. Now these guys are sick. All right, we survived. We got the oppidum. You go there, you go there, great general, battering ram, you step into city to protect it, you repair that mine. All right, heal. So this is just the border city, this is the beginning. Um, you're staying in place because next turn you could become a man at arms. There's Gao. So, you go there, you go there, you come forward. Four turns, might be able to save that one. Kill. Good. Ancient walls finished, engineering switch. <coughs> like bomb? Okay. I'm gonna count down from 10. When I hit zero, or one. 
I want you all to press like on the video. Now, currently as it stands, we have exactly 671 likes on this video. When I say go, I want to see that go to like 2,000, all right? I know there's 3,000 of you watching. YouTube tells me. So, when we get to zero, press like on the video. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Click now. Click, 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 click. Do it now. All right, we're at 700. And, all right, we just crossed 700. When is it going to update? Oh, <laughs> it instantly jumped to 1,250. <laughs> 1600 damn okay that's double that's a thousand likes in about five seconds that's insane that feel when you can't like bomb because you already like just unlike it and relike it <coughs> it'll count <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> nice we got to 2000 i'm we're at 1878 it's a good year don't know what happened that year but you know what that's the number we hit i'll accept it good job guys give your all give yourselves a pat on the back on that like bomb so this is actually a really, really cool strategy. One man's. Um, I attack twice, pillage next turn, kill with this guy, end up with two guys fully healed. You become another man at arms, who's also super fast. Killing the city gives me loyalty here. Good. All these guys can heal. Follow up with a catapult or two. I actually don't need the catapults. That's kind of dumb. It's a dumb move. Let's have a look. What does the city need? Objectively, I probably need tile improvements. Which means I need a builder in this city. Just a lot of builders. Because I could improve both of these and that would give me a ton of extra gold to support my army. You head over here to fix that tile. So, pillage, attack, boom, another city under my belt. Now I may need to use you here, but I'm okay with that. I probably could have just switched Victor. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Builder. Diamond dogs rule. Bow wow, baby. Bow wow, baby. Diamond dogs rule. You heard the man. Culture bomb. Quarry. Boom. Really good oppidum. <clears throat> um. I think I think as long as I as long as I can kill his capital before he gets his his unique unit, I think I just auto win this game. Buy amenities. Ooh, that's a good call. Did I see sexy? Or am I blind? Hey, sexy. How's it going, bud? Plus five campus and Wolata. Oh yeah, the city. Let me call it juicy. Oh yeah, there is. Very nice campus. So I think we let that rebel now. Man, this dude spawned with all the iron. This is bullshit. Repair that. We can repillage these now. The only downside is that these these tend to spawn with man at arms in them because we're like super, we're super memeing. Boom! Warlord's throne. Brilliant. Now we're getting a twenty percent meme. Another city begins to fall. No walls even. Three turns. Five turns. Runaway Builder. We got our Warlord's Throne in the capital. Um, let's see. I'd probably get myself like a, 
a unit or two just to be able to settle. Um, then again, I could go barracks. I also probably could have optimized my government for um, for loyalty, like with Limitanii. I could have done this. You know what I mean? It's like helpful. Probably a mistake that I didn't. Settler production. Do we settle behind a war or do we just go b -b 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 balls to the walls on war? I reckon we just go balls to the walls, dude. We see how far we can get. Because <clears throat> I can still... This is the amazing thing. I can still build Gezete. And then upgrade them into Mad at Arms. And I'm about to conquer a dude who generates insane money. I'll be able to pillage a bunch of, bunch of money. Get some iron mines off him. And turn around. And then be able to Mad at Arms rush someone else as well in this game. So. Wow. Oh my god. Is this a... Uh, I'm seeing lots of wahs in chat. Total War Gaul. To the walls. You know the answer to this. Forever War, baby. Blood to the Blood God? Hell yeah. Although I've always been a... Um, I've always been a Nurgle fan. I Whenever I played like... Uh, any chaos -y kind of stuff. I, played, I, I did Nurgle memes. Garrison Commander. Um... We'll take this in like a turn or two, but I want to pillage first to get all that money. I may even pillage for science. Although, mm, what's that? What's that campus like? That's actually a plus four campus. I'm going to keep it. Uh, does Gaul adjacency stack with military tactics? Military tactics. I'm trying to remember. Does Gaul adjacency stack with military tactics? I don't understand what you mean. Victor is going to get assigned to Kumbi Oh, you know what? Victor gets assigned to Gaul. You can go back to my capital. He's only going to take two turns to reestablish because of the beauty of how governors work. I think I want to pillage all three of these mines. And quarries. Well, the quarry less so, so I may use that to attack. But I definitely want to pillage some stuff here. No. The military tradition? To... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gaul ability absolutely stacks with military tradition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 it does. Absolutely, it does. Do I care about 56 faith? No, I'd rather do damage to the city and get experience on this guy. We'll pillage that next turn. It's six turns on you. We just repair this. It's flipping to Mansa, but that should that should change to me as after I take Kumbisala. Canada posted. Good job multitasking. Canada got pre-scheduled. It's going live in 24 minutes. And when it goes live, I'm ending the stream and we're all gonna watch it together. I'll be in my premiere chat. We'll be watching the video. People can ask me questions. We can talk about it. It's going to be a fun video. Make peace, get on your knees, and beg all the other subs for forgiveness for your transgressions. <laughs> Dude, every time you write it, every time you write civs, like civs, oh, you met military tradition. Yeah, yeah. No, it absolutely stacks. It absolutely stacks. It's already out. What? No, it's not. I'm I'm looking at it here. It says premieres at 9 p.m. Canada is live now. It says premieres in 23 minutes. Fire no guns, shed no tears, leave them broken on the pier. All right, how far can we get in 24 minutes? Let's speed run it, boys. Writing is easy. So, writing. I would really like to get the kill of the city on this guy, but um, this guy is also really close to a promotion, so if I kill city... 
He'll be one attack away from leveling up. And we have farms to pillage. So that seems that seems good to me. All right, Timbuktu maybe next. Four turns. Let's grab ourselves. Um, just grab Magnus. Pop him into Kumbisala. Keep that city. Twelve turns on that one. Oh, bumby, bumby. These units should totally be over at the front line, um, but they got kind of they got kind of trapped. Um, you're gonna have a third person here, so I'll probably get the mine and then do both of these. <clears throat> Archery would be good. We get some more gazete. Those are pretty good. Repair our means. We're stealing infrastructure from this dude right now. I've got three charges on this guy. Um, I think I use him to repair. That's his job in the war effort is to repair the stuff I pillage. Is it safe to stand here? Fairly safe. I'll heal for a turn. We'll take Timbuktu. You'll be ready to hit Niani with the battering ram. F uh, well, no, he actually. One, two. No, he can't get my battering ram. Okay, we're good. Make sure you're protecting that Gazete. Got another Gazete up here. Granary, grow the capital. Let's take these two tiles for Charleston. You'll want to build as well to improve your tiles. Kyles! My Kyles! Um, I reckon... I reckon a trade route to Haddington wouldn't be terrible. It give us a road to that city so we can attack it easier. Rename Gao to GMO. Rename Gao to GMO. Okay. Uh, Gao. Genetically modified man at arms. Hit Niani first because it has a higher pop. That's probably a good idea, actually. Yeah, 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 you're right. Timbuktu will be easy to clean up. We should clean this up. We should prioritize this, absolutely. So this city is loyal enough now that I can move my garrison forward. Um, plus two campuses. What do we follow this up with? I feel like I feel like it would be kind of fun to get ready for trebuchets. So if we're going to go for trebuchets, we probably want to build an aqueduct. And we're only building this aqueduct for a meme, so this could be... Floodable farm triangle. Aqueduct here. Sounds good. Alright, I like it. You prep for the war with Scotland. No. Uh, I will only accept your total debt. So he has crossbowmen now. But I have really, really, really... Highly promoted... Um, highly promoted man in arms and lots of healing. And I still absolutely stunk on his cities, so I'm not worried about this in the slightest as it stands. Normally the AI gets crossbowmen and you start panicking. Like that's just that's just how it is. Ah oh, fuck, this got auto upgraded to a man at arms. No. Oh I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I thought because I could build Gaze like I can build Gazete independently. Okay, so that's something we need to keep in mind. Okay, we're learning the angles of this strategy. We're learning the weird little stuff that can happen. These guys actually, holy shit, do Gazete shit on Man at Arms if you have enough, if you have enough like bonuses. Gazete, Gazete are legitimately insane units. Look at that! I'm, I'm absolutely stunking on this lad. Ted Lasso. I have no idea what Ted Lasso sounds like, so 
That's going to be a uh, a minor yikes. Didn't they nerf crossbow in this patch? I don't think so. Maybe. Did they nerf their range strength and buff their melee strength, I thought? That's what I thought they did to them. It upgrades the unit. Ah, see, I, I know it upgrades the unit, but I thought because um I thought because Gazete were a unique unit that it wouldn't do it. <clears throat> Think Ted the Diamond Dogs have struck again. I'm Ted Lasso and I endorse this message. The Diamond Dogs. Let's yoink Geneva. Ooh. Yeah, we'll yoink Geneva. God, this this sieve is actually insane. Juicy's flipping. Let's call an ambulance, but not for me. Yoink. Sorry, swordsmen are completely redundant. It's only it's only for the gall that swordsmen are pointless. Swordsmen still have a place because if you think about where swordsmen are, okay, one, two, three. You can three tech swordsmen. It'll probably be more like five tech because you might go like animal husbandry or sailing first or something like that. Um, but you could three tech swordsmen. Uh, man at arms, on the other hand, are like. In order to get man at arms, you need bronze working, right? You just you just need it, and you're probably going to need iron working. So one, two, three. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three techs versus seven techs. And um, this tech is a medieval tech, so it's really expensive. Like you count up the science, right? 20, 64, 120. Now these are not the exact prices. They kind of get modified as the game goes on. So it's like about, let's call it like 200 to 240 science to get swordsmen. It is that much alone to get apprenticeship with the 40% boost. So you just, you need so much more tech to get to this point. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a oh, it wouldn't do that without swordsmen. Interesting. That is a important, I, I think you have to unlock ironworking though, unfortunately. Pataphysical 3G, neat. I don't know what that means. You said big words and you know what? <clears throat> Maybe you want to beat you up that inner that inner jock in me. Just I heard a word that was longer than two syllables. Uh, I just started swinging my fists. <laughs> Listen, all right, repair that monument. Hammurabi can get man of arms after their first builder. Technically, yes, but it's not actually yes because they have to get they have to get iron. Like catastrophic eruption, that sucks. I didn't, I didn't enjoy that because that actually killed my fucking man at arms in the city. God damn it! Why are disasters so like finely tuned to ruin my game in particular? You're not, you're not selling, you're not getting that religion, bud. So there's one more city. This city may like die. I don't. It's a capital, so I can't die. So I don't care. I'll be able to retake it easily. Reaction nerd. Listen guys, you know when you guys bully me in chat, it doesn't feel good, okay? I'm here trying to have a good time. And everyone's in the chat like, oh, look at this guy, he's losing, get wrecked, lol. You know what, I don't like it. It doesn't feel good. It's making me feel bullied. I deserve it, let's be real. <clears throat> uh, commercial hub, commercial hub. Ba -da -ba 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 Peace, dude. Haven't you heard the Megadeth song? Peace sells, but who's buying? Peace sells, but who's buying? 
My tiles are good. But who's buying? Holy shit, this is a plus six campus. I'm glad I didn't pillage that. It's camera for your jock instinct. True! I deserved it. It was my own fault. You know what? I could just purchase a Gazette and reinforce this army manually in a little bit. Now that I have so much gold. No bullying in chat. You cannot buy it because you only have 400 gold. True. Slowly work on that granary. My be for science as a follow-up. Like, look at this dude! I'm actually... I'm in like a ridiculous science position on turn 78. I've killed a player. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cities, essentially. Five, six turns from now. This this Gaul strategy, if you get the right setup, is insane. <clears throat> and I stole some wonders, right? That's double insane. Free infrastructure from killing someone. Bum bum. Bum. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. bum, bum. Bump. Why is this still going to him? Because he generated more loyalty over time to it or something? This is it's dumb. I'll have a man at arms in a sec to deal with it, but Granary sells, but who's buying? The world's worst at the Mananki? I mean I mean I guess if I if I like switch tiles around it's not so bad, because like if we do a no, little we'll search for floodplains. You know, like if if I was able to switch these tiles around, it would actually be much better. Cause it's uh Etamanki. Plus one production, twelve floodplains of the city. So I, I could probably take like a few like three tiles and get like three production, three science out of it, which is pretty good. Any idea when the next Yogs Pass multiplayer will be? Well they they do it every Monday and I don't get invited every time because they just they have like a whole roster of people who, you know, they kinda switch in and out with people. Um Uh I you know, I'm I'm always well I'm not always, but I'm I'm up for it most weeks. Um It's just a matter of like how lucky have I been the week before in um in interruptions in my recording because sometimes I take Mondays sometimes I got to take my Mondays to do a lot of recording um, when I would really like to be streaming like the thing is <clears throat> streaming has now become the thing I really like to do and I'd like to um, I'd like to get back to that I'd, I'd like to do more of it but this year has been the, the last few months have just been so disruptive for my recording and streaming environment that it's been hard and I'm hoping as normality starts to return to the world, as people are no longer locked up in the house making noise, um, that I might be able to stream more. Without mathematics, it's almost premiere time. It'll be fine. Another man at arms. But yeah, it used to be it used to be that recording was my favorite thing, and I think now, um, I just really, really, really enjoy the process of live streaming, um, and I'd like to do that more. Builder, there, water mill for the boost. Is there another boost I can pick up. Water mill, aqueduct. Pre-build a catapult for trebuchet memes. Pre-build a catapult for trebuchet memes. I'm, yeah, I should I should be able to get out like three. I should be able to get out three, three catapults to upgrade into trebuchets for follow-up memes. I may even, I may even stream this again this week. Open borders. So this is going to rebel. Um, I'm moderately okay with that. We'll be able to do some moving around here. Bum, bum. But who's buying? It's a good opportunity to get experience on these units actually attacking. Atta See, a city doesn't really fight back. 
<clears throat> in the way that units do. So it's actually a really safe, attacking a city is actually a really, really safe way to get experience on your units. <clears throat> Prepare for embarking to, to slash Scotland. Yes, um, probably would be good to pick up shipbuilding here, but I'm prioritizing um, military engineering. Peace. So like this scout for example just picked up 4 XP. The city doesn't fight back. Um and I can retreat that scout and he'll st I like and he, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and when you kill a city you get 10 XP base. We have another guy. What do you do? One promotion to land military units. Okay, Niani could also pick me up a catapult. That would be four trebuchet. I don't like that that district is getting oh, murdered. So what I want to do, attack with you, then, right? So he only picked up a little bit of XP, but this guy is going to pick up a full 13 experience for that. That's beautiful. Swap, attack, kill the city with this guy, keep city, he's down to his last city, watermill, another catapult, monument. So now we could go around killing city states if we wanted to, we've got so many options. Blood. All the world's a stage. Wait, why are effing? The men and women merely players. Oh, I dropped like a hunt. Wait, I didn't drop any frames. I didn't drop any frames, so I don't know. That's like a YouTube thing. Ah, oh, dude, if you're if you're if you're catching up to a stream, you can't do it at one point two x speed. You gotta go to the full two x speed. You can't one point five your way back up. Oh man, this pillage is so tasty though. Yoink. Can I get the kill with a scout? Oh, just about not. Okay. Right, he, li he lives one more turn. By the grace of my civilization, I have granted him life for another turn. I, I think oh, this is actually so much fun. I'm definitely going to continue this. Um, sometime during the week. Wasn't this supposed to be a count of the playthrough? Count of the playthrough starts in five minutes, dude. That's when I sign off. I'm out of here. I'll be watching. I'll be watching the Canada video and talking in chat though. Creates with the heart. All right, let's uh, boom. All right, guys, that is it. That is Mali murdered. So I think my review of this strategy is that it is very. Are you going to play more Total War? Yes. I, Total War is 100% in my in my strategy. I filled around with the Babylon Man at Arms Rush, but this looks a lot more fun. Um, the Gaul Man at Arms Rush requires a few things. You absolutely need to get a great general. You don't need the Government Plaza, but you do need a great general. You do need to get a oligarchy. And you need to get at least two man at arms and you can't be against someone that has a strong early game unit so uh so why is war considered bad in civ can't you take all these cities and then slingshot science yes you can uh pjm war isn't considered bad in fact war is the single most effective way to win the game in civ 6. i personally just don't like playing warlike games too much because the game feels very one-dimensional um it's like kill everyone kill your neighbors boom you win the game um, and it's like doing that every time is, is less interesting to me than like, okay, how do I diplomatically and like peacefully manage to navigate my way to a win? Get the city states, less stuff for other saves. That could be worth it. I could just redirect now to Hattusa, Geneva, Banda Brunei, just like completely go warmonger, own the entire world. Where do I go to see the Canada playthrough? Uh, I'll link it in chat, but also when I end this stream, it should automatically push you over there. I'm testing out. I'm testing out. YouTube put in a new feature called Live Redirect, and I'm testing it out today. So what we're going to do 
is everyone watching right now, I'm going to end the stream and then we're automatically going to transport through time and space and the internet onto my Canada video that's releasing in three minutes. And I'm going to be, the, I'm going to be in chat with you, watching it with you. Okay. All right. This is absolutely, oh no, spoilers for how many episodes of Canada there is are, most of that is already edited. So it's on the way. Uh, Gull stream dream. That's deem, not dream. Dream. All right. Time to end the stream. Five. Four. Just stay in chat. Just all you have to do is sit there. Apparently YouTube will automatically teleport you over to my other video. Okay. We're, we're doing a test. Is YouTube a perfectly balanced game? I don't know. 